Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. This video will provide six tips for biopsy submission that will enhance our chances of providing you with the most accurate diagnosis. Dermatological conditions are among the most frequent presentations to companion animal practitioners. Properly obtained and submitted skin biopsies can be the cornerstone of establishing a definitive diagnosis or at least provide a plausible list of differential diagnoses that can be refined with additional diagnostic testing. While a skin biopsy is a valuable diagnostic tool, like all the dermatological tools, it may not always provide the definitive diagnosis. Lesion selection. Always biopsy the best lesions. An acute lesion that has not undergone excoriation will yield more usable information. 2. When possible, take multiple biopsies. Unfortunately, the definitive diagnosis is not always present in a single biopsy, so multiple biopsies increase the probability of obtaining an accurate diagnosis. Number 3. Biopsy preparation. Do not prep the lesion as it may destroy important pathology. Here is a list of the possible pathology or pathogens that could be destroyed by prepping the lesion. Number four, use a sharp instrument, such as an eight millimeter diameter skin punch biopsy or scalpel blade. Never use laser or electrocautery to obtain these biopsies. These instruments burn tissue. Never use thumb forceps. These will crush tissue. Fill out the submission form completely. The more the better. The submission form should include the signalment, history, it should have a good description of the lesions and their locations, the results of any additional testing done, in other words, skin scrapings, fungal cultures, etc., the responses to any therapies, and any specific diseases that you would like ruled out. Number six. A visual documentation is worth a thousand words in your description. You can send color prints, a CD, or email a picture to receiving at vet.k-state.edu. Be sure to include the practice name and the patient's name. The more information you provide the pathologist, the better the chance of a definitive diagnosis or the next best diagnostic test. For a pre-sampling consultation, you can contact a pathologist at 785-532-5650.